The chant that seemed to crystallise the debate, jihad, a word that means different things to different people, from struggle to holy war. For some government ministers, it was a step too far. To the police, it wasn't a crime. After a meeting with the Home Secretary, Britain's top cop didn't appear to have changed his view. I was explaining how we are absolutely ruthless in tackling anybody who puts their foot over the legal line. We're accountable for law. We can't enforce taste or decency, but we can enforce the law. It was the law that needed changing, he said. The law that we've designed around hate crime and terrorism over recent decades hasn't taken full account of the ability of extremist groups to steer around those laws and propagate some pretty toxic messages through social media. And those lines probably need redrawing. It's a really difficult thing to do. It wasn't clear if new laws on extremists were being considered. No word from the Home Office, but the Prime Minister's official spokesperson said police already had extensive powers. If anything was needed, they said, it was clarity on how to use those powers. To learn the lessons and ensure that... Rishi Sunak spoke in the Commons. Calls for jihad on our streets are not only a threat to the Jewish community, but to our democratic values. And we expect the police to take all necessary action to tackle extremism head on. The Commissioner said these were unprecedented times. Hostile state actions, 500 ongoing Islamist terror plots, and now a huge rise in hate crime. A 13-fold increase in anti-Semitic attacks, he said, and three times as many Islamophobic incidents. New laws on demonstrators were brought in last year. They were condemned then by civil rights campaigners who fear more restrictions on public protest. My concern is that the way in which the law has been um, reformed is um, having massive incursions on people's right to freedom of speech and freedom of assembly. Free Palestine! Free this tube train driver's message to his passengers is unlikely to get him arrested, but he might lose his job. He's been suspended. Martin Brunt, Sky News.